Cross-eyed man, he said to me, let it rain or let it pour, but I don't care if the sun won't shine. I've been here and I've been there. I even been to Arkansas, where I found me a friend. I call him my friend. Let it rain, I said, let it pour. I don't care if the old man snores. West of the Great Divide, I'm going east to Santa Fe. Grab me a ride, we're riding blind. Going down the county line Let it rain or let it pour I can hear the people say Play your song, it won't take long Like a natural ragtime band Big leg eyed, she can't get high She just sits and sings a boot Oh yeah To me been told man he said to me let it rain or let it pour but I don't care if the sun won't shine I've been here and I've been there I even been to Arkansas where I found me a friend I call him my friend let it rain I said let it pour I don't care if the old man's north, west of the Great Divide. I'm going east to Santa Fe. Let it rain, let it pour. For I just don't care, I'm talking now. Let it rain. He's the one man who could. You want to come back inside? <laughs> He's a man's best friend. And tell him not to kill you in Mexico. <laughs> Hello, Charlie. Hello, Ben. Maybe they are amigos. 
Hello, Ben. Hello, Charlie. And that's all. No emotion, these gringos. You're in good shape, Charlie. Yeah, real good shape. <clears throat> Looks like you got taller yet. I guess it's cause I'm looking for down here. <laughs> really are soaking. Good old Charlie. <clears throat> I think he just bird turned me. Because the buddy's always a oh, oh, are you <clears throat> here, buddy. Took me two years to put that money away. But it took you two days to spend it. It was an investment. Just think, we could have doubled it and we could have sold that herd of cattle. Yeah, but not to the same guy we rustled it from. Then he, he grew a mustache. Didn't recognize him. Yeah, besides, who got sent up, huh? Who paid? You're truly, you're truly here. You ain't near finished paying. Oh, come on, honey. Nice, Charlie. The guy starts in fooling and you know how those things happen. Yeah. Damn straight. I've been waiting two years for this. Take your belt off. What? Oh, you want to let off some steam? Oh, you could have just said so. Hold it. Yeah. Uh, it's kicking them out. Cut the stall and let's get on. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, Still been this night, Charlie. Uh, uh, trouble is, you ain't got reflexes. Uh, you, you want to get it in the head? Or should I split a chop? Uh, all right. One, two. I, I don't get you, Charlie. You will in a minute. Now, you see, that's uncalled for. Get up, saddle bum. Now, Charlie, that's provocation. Right, left, left, and right. What's he made of? Uh -huh. Yeah, hang your hat on it. Uh -huh. oh, hold it. You can't have a man who's down. Then get up. We left to regret certain things, Charlie. Regret this! Now that's provocation. I won, huh? Yeah, like hell. You diddle and you daddle. And you fall off your saddle. Yeah, I know. I knew you weren't mad. You know, a prison's a great place for scogitating ideas, really. Keep to yourself. <laughs> hey, we can make a fortune. Charlie, are you listening, huh? Yeah. No more bird turning for us. It's big time. I got it figured out. We'll go into partnership. We got it made, Charlie. No bird turn for us, partner. Ah, uh, shut up. <laughs> Who can beat us between your shooting and the ideas I got going? <laughs> got the whole thing figured out. You know, Charlie? Hey, Charlie, where are you going? Hey! Will you listen, partner? Uh, you listen, Saddlehead. When one of us goes west, the other goes east. You got it? Ha! Ha! Yeah, I got it. You can go to hell. I can find four partners like you. Five! Six! Seven! Oh, smoke. I'm rolling for 200, gentlemen. Place your bets. I don't believe it. Seven. Shooting 400, gentlemen. Double and nothing. Not to do us part. Two hundred. You gonna bet it or not? <clears throat> Seven. Hey, where did he go? Hey, let's get him! After him!
little lamb.
Uh-uh. Oh, come on now. Two times five is ten, nope. huh? Nope. Nah, nah. Mm. Nah, nah, huh? Uh-uh. No giving, no grabbing. Know what I mean, sugar bud? <laughs> hey! I've had it. It's been a pleasure, gent. Whiskey. A beer, Heineck. Hard luck, huh? You've been looking. Look, I get a full house, he gets four of a kind. Yeah, that's what you think. Uh, uh, follow me, I'll tell you something. Hmm? Come on. Come on. Hey, hold on. Go, darn it. I got a while to go. Shh. Pity hey, wait a minute. Me. This is the toll it's been paid for. A penny a minute. Then take your time about it, Pay 60 cents. Good for an hour. One of those sports is a forger, a real parrot. Wait, what do you mean? How would you do? <sighs> By watching the codger maneuver his pack. But no good no, sport. No, well, take it easy. Forget it. You ain't gonna recoup a cent. You're gonna lose your head about it. Yeah, well. You still got a little money, huh? Had 2000 Not enough 500 to need much. <laughs> For the moment, it's fair. Now, you give me that five. Mm hmm Well, now, I figured to split the winnings. Well, once you, uh... Recouped your loss, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you say? Well, one of them's cheating. How are you gonna beat it? How about cheating all the more? Oh, holy oh, suffering catfish. Okay. All right, go ahead and take it. But you better win, I'm warning you. Ah, don't worry. You win. Here you are, Pops. It ain't hygienic, but you'll feel like a millionaire. <laughs> Listen, uh, you got anything against someone taking my place? Uh, sit down. Huh? No, I'm sorry, but I'm scared. But I must have a scene. Blow it all on a little poke. Your deal. This day? One card short. Mm. Freezy, freezy, cold, cold, warm, warm, hot diggity. <laughs> now, how did that ever get caught underneath there? Ask the puker that took it out. Deal. Pass it. Yeah. Are you gonna open? I mean. A hundred. Two hundred to stay in. They're gonna clear out of their minds. I knew I should have fooled. Cards? One. The top one. <laughs> Natural. Three.
It's a Swiss watch. Holy Reverend Moses, they're even at three aces each. That ain't possible they got six aces. Yeah, three each. But how can they have three aces? Shut up, will you? There's still another card. Four aces each! Four aces each! now and get off at the last stop. I'll wait for the northbound stage, got it? You know what I say? You know what I say? You ain't nothing but a goat herder. Miserable goat herding, nitpicking bum. That ain't much, is it? That's all you'll ever be. Maybe someday I'll be happy to be a miserable bum. Instead of a wind jamming blowhard with a bullet through his head. together the last hundred miles, and it's still an awfully long way to San Diego. No harm in uh, getting better acquainted, is there? Hmm? Uh, extraordinary. They serve chilled ginger beer here at the post station. <laughs> eh? I gotta tell you something. Uh, lend an ear. Oh! You gotta follow oh. me, sir. Uh, uh, yes, but... Uh, if you're attracting attention, uh, it could be at any second. It's a question of life and death. <gasps> Come on, there's no trust in that bunch. What bunch? What are you talking about? Get it, get it. I know what's going on. Sir. Help! Help! No, no, wait. Coast ain't clear yet. Well, I'll take my chances. No, wait. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know, sir, but it's all over. It's all over. Nice day, ain't it, ma'am? It would be if there weren't so many pests around. This bug don't bite. <laughs> you may not bite, but you've been bitten. And by something pretty foul, I would say. <laughs> I'm in disguise. Well, my compliments, it's perfect. 
You do look exactly like a broken down, rotten, dirty bum. That's mighty kind, uh, ma'am. You know, I got a pretty strange feeling that uh, we met somewhere before. I'm afraid you're right. Uh, it was in front of a preacher. I had said yes, but you didn't say anything. And when I turned around, you're running like hell out of the church. Sarah, you're still very angry with me, huh? Not at all. As a matter of fact, I consider myself very lucky. I guess you're right. You know you ain't changed at all. Neither have you, Ben. But I was paying you a compliment. But I wasn't. Now, what's, uh, what are you doing these days? Same thing before we met, Ben. Remember? I'm a prostitute. The great Ben Bellows. Afraid of no man or gun, but deathly afraid of words, of the truth. How, huh, Ben? We'll start that again now. Relax. I haven't the least desire to. Didn't you notice that I didn't even ask you what you're doing? I didn't have to. I know. You're running, Ben. You're convinced of chasing something very important. Money, glory, success. You don't even know yourself. Don't you realize that you're only trying to escape? Hmm? Sarah, you... You just don't understand what I feel inside. You never tried or wanted to, either. <laughs> it's like a promissory note that reads, uh, Ben Bellows got the right to be free and rich and happy. Now I've got to find the beggar who signed that thing. Make him give me what's coming to me. You might discover that that beggar wears a black cape with a skull and crossbones. I'll take that risk. Are you taking the stage too? Uh, well, uh, I would, but only. Yes, I understand, of course. Yeah, you diddle and you daddle and you fall. Oh. Uh, listen, Ben. Uh, I've two hundred dollars here. I don't really need it. They they pay me well where I'm going. <laughs> you are a card, Sarah. <laughs> don't go judging a book by its cover now. Uh, if you only knew. Oh, with the deals I got, the one thing I don't need is money. Yes, sir, hombre. Yeah. Saludos a tu hermana, cuñado. Y con tu vieja. Anda, güey. Vamos. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Sarah. Uh, look, just give me a couple of them. Three months. Hey. And one of these mornings, you'll find a gold carriage with ten white horses in front of your door with me inside, dressed fit to kill, smoking a cigar as long as you are, and there'll be a carpet of flowers. Just two months. Sarah, go away, won't you? Heading south. 
Maybe that's my business, huh? Unless you're looking for trouble. Let's go inside. Lay a couple of hands while we wait for the next stage. We wait? What you got in your head, Charlie? That's my business. Unless you're looking for trouble. Uh, no, partner. No. The stage! Coach! The stagecoach! Where is the stagecoach? Where is the... Mm -hmm. Coach! Where is the stagecoach? Huh? See that cloud of dust there? Uh -huh. That's the coach. All you gotta do is keep up with that cloud. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Hold on! Wait for me! Hold on! you can afford. We got barely enough money to get to Phoenix. And we could just as well stay here? Yeah, only to get put in jail. Why? What else can you do but fight in this blooming city? <laughs> Can't compare Phoenix to this hick town. Plenty of fish cakes waiting there. Don't worry, we'll find some. something. Something? Oh, if I only had that gun of mine. I'd show you how to find something. I'd show you. Well, that's just as well, because you're liable to go put a bullet through your head. Where you go? I'm only going to take a look at the gunsmith's shop. Now, that ain't against the law. Just look. No harm, no harm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
What's wrong? The barrel. It's defective. Hmm. Impossible. Let me see. Can you see well? Yeah, perfectly. I can even see the bullet inside. Ah, then just keep looking at it without breathing. Nice and easy, unless you want to watch it go through your eye. Get your hands up. Get against the wall. Hey, tell her. Get out of there. Put the money in this sack. And you, give him a hand. Come over here. Faster. Hurry up. Nothing to it, Charlie. It's just as smooth as pie. Smooth as pie, your clavicle. In just two minutes, you turned me into an outlaw. Ah, you're getting technical now. Come on, stop your wailing and count the dough in that sack of room. Half is yours, partner. Ah. Hey, man. Huh? You got the count? Yeah. Does it go up to ten? About twenty. Oh, hot diggity. Twenty grand? No, twenty sheriffs. Thank you, Charlie! Ah! 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 
Another of your brilliant ideas. I'd like to know about it first. That goes for you too, especially when it comes to robbing a bank. Caesar in a sump hole. Will you cut your twittering? You'd think that the whole United States cavalry was on our heels. You're making me nervous. You'll be even more nervous when they get it. Huh. Turn your laundry first, huh? You filthy, grubby horse thief. Did you wash your underwear? I'm a gentleman. I don't wear underwear. Uh -huh, Aha, didn't it? Can't be far. Are you gonna talk, Rattlebones? <laughs> One deer departed. <laughs> it's enough for any woman. <laughs> Go on, boys. Get my hand. <laughs> Look here. The wrist is all right. Don't need to wear this brace no more. Just thought you might like to see. <laughs> All right, rattle bones. Now tell us where your friend is, or I'll kill you. Maybe you're in Mark County, Walker. <laughs> I've heard of things around here. I don't like your methods. And I don't like his. <laughs> here in your county. But let's not forget it was me he shot. And the bank he robbed is in my county. All right, fella. I think you better tell us where you hid that money. What money? This ain't no time to play smart. The $25,000 you stole. Now, where is it? We didn't get it. You little snake! <laughs> Where'd yeah. you hide it? So that's it. Figured it wouldn't blame on us. I was wondering why you went to all that trouble. Afraid we might have talked, huh? What are you trying to say? Uh, nothing. Just that uh, honest John Sheriff here and his deputies did us out of $25,000. No! <laughs> Eh, 
You're too bad that your buddy ain't here to keep you company, eh, Rattlebones? Yeah, it really is a pity. Why, he keeps you in stitches when it comes to hangings. Don't worry. I'll get him, too. Yeah, yeah, he'd like to meet you. He's one who appreciates a good liar. They did their duty. They were honest citizens. What a wonderful day, Brother Brown. Doesn't it open your heart to serenity and indulgence? Mm. Gotta practice what you preach, huh? <laughs> Psalm 2, chapter 10. Yeah. Brother, Charles, what does trouble you, Charles? Open up your heart to me. I'd like to split your head and see what the hell you got inside it. You turned me into an outlaw, just a cotton-picking outlaw. Bank Robin wasn't good enough. You had to go shoot a sheriff. Yeah, but all the money is returned. And that clobber finger killed him. Yeah, himself. but we'll never be able to prove it. All they know about us is that we're a couple of no-good bandits. Mm. <sighs> know what I say? Don't let the thing bother you, Charlie. Thanks, jackass. Now, being they consider us bandits, we might as well take advantage of it. Ah! Ocular testimony describes the one called Charlie as having black hair and beard, very thin, close to seven feet tall. The other, name unknown, six feet, light brown hair, smiles and laughs often at times for no apparent reason. Huh. Well, as a description's better than nothing. Have it distributed throughout the state. Well, I'll be damned. What's wrong, Sheriff? I never thought that the Pinkerton Agency would bother with this case. A bank robbery, a sheriff killed, and a preacher attacked. Within one week, these two young men have made a shambles of this state's economic, ecclesiastic, and executive power. But I don't think they'll find life so easy from now on. Now, get behind your cage. Work, you lout. Get behind that cage. This is the last time, Smith. I'm warning you. Yes, sir. You were supposed to audit our credit account, Smith. They've been audited. How's that? I've worked on them all night. I will not tolerate any more tardiness. Do I make myself clear, Smith? Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Good day, Reverend. Mm. Yes, uh, it is a nice day, my son. What can I do for you, Reverend? Uh, well, I decided to build a new church. Um, and I've come about uh, financing it. Ah, uh, financing the... <clears throat> Smith, how many times must you be told that you're not supposed to handle these things? Will you please? Thank you, Smith. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what would you be needing, Reverend? Thirty thousand. Oh, I thought it was a greater entity. Mm. Uh, begging your pardon, sir, but uh, naturally you'll be able to give us the necessary guarantee. Of course. 
<laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> if you still don't know what's taking place, you're being robbed blind. Take courage and open the safe, brother. And get out your money. Or else. I'm not. Kill me if you like. He said we could kill him. Uh, 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 but, 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 wait till I get, get the key. You're mistaken, sir. Isn't that the drawer with your gun belt? <clears throat> the key is in his desk, Reverend. Uh, here. Pretty bad not remembering where the key is. Yeah. Main office is like this. Our manager is a little forgetful. Get with it. Yeah. Quick. Keep an eye on the door. All right, fella. Fill it up. Yes, sir. C certainly. Come on. Come on. Smith, yes, sir. You, you're fired, Smith. You. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Smith? Yes, sir. You're hired. Huh? Thank you, Reverend. Really? Oh, how much do you want? Well, three percent will do fine, Reverend. A normal bank interest. All right. <clears throat> Let's move it, Reverend. Smith! Smith! You can't leave just like that! Uh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. You are, right? I was going away without saying goodbye. <sighs> wait! Wait for me! Don't leave me, Reverend! Well, get on your horse! Move it! But it's not my horse! I can't... Who the hell cares? I can't even run! The only way to learn is to get on! Let's go! Thieves! Robbers! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Wait for me! Like yours, sir. The blonde fellow's eyes were shifty, and and the tall fellow's beard was menacing, evil looking. Yes, sir. Reed. They were two vile, despicable, and nefarious looking desperados. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Could these two uh -huh. be men? Look at them close. Oh, well, yes, a certain similarity. I have two thousand copies made. Names unknown. Wanted for murder and robbery. Five thousand dollars reward. Dead or alive. We'll be stirring a lot of bounty killers with this thing, sir. That's exactly what I want. Yeah, but uh, these here drawings are approximate. There's a lot of people look like these two. I'm just afraid the lioness and cow hands are going to be carried into town. The important thing is that those two are among them. Thousand three hundred fifty-eight for me. We've each got your pile. What's wrong, three percent? You complaining about your share? You want to be kidding? Three percent of the take. I'm a, a rich man. Now where to put it all? Yeah, that's what makes me suffer. Suffer? Well, naturally. You take money out of a bank and it just grows old. It doesn't accrue any interest when it's just sitting around. It's not working. What are you talking about? Do you have any idea how much interest you'd get on a deposit like that? Uh, you mean that you'd go and deposit it again in the bank? I sure would. <laughs> You're a guard, 3%. Back to Earth, kiddies. That dough's already been put to work. We'll probably have to spend it all. Oh, you're reading my thoughts. No, Clobberhead. We need some new guns to start with. Then we gotta look respectable. We each gotta buy a house. Since we ain't a family, we each gotta have a place to live in. Would there be anything else that we must have? Yeah. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? It's already too late. Ain't they? 
You're just plain homely. The guy looks mean, Charlie. You're not. You're really not very witty. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you got a gun? Boom. Bing! You missed it. That's not funny. <laughs> Striking resemblance, eh, Bat? Yeah, them all right. Right, Cheryl? Now that we've made our acquaintance and exchanged credentials, we could even band together, hmm? We thought you were a bunch of bounty killers. Right, Charlie? Yeah. Instead, they're as sweet a bunch of crooks as you'll ever come across. Drink some tequila, little mouse. <laughs> no, thanks, sir. I don't drink. You don't drink with El Charro? You only drink water, aren't you? Agua? Charlie? Yeah, in case things go bad. 
We can always get up an act in the circus, right? Faites vos jeux. Faites vos jeux, messieurs et mesdames. Faites vos jeux. Faites vos jeux. Merci. The wheel is about to roll. Faites vos jeux, messieurs et mesdames. On the number, madame. That's it. Attention, rien ne va plus. Non, non, rien ne va plus, monsieur. I already said so. Zero, zero, the house stinks. C'est pour la maison. I'll win. Mais qu'est-ce que vous faites? I win, no? Uh, excuse me, but my friend is a little uh, primitive in his way. Uh, I'm afraid he doesn't even know how a zero is made. It's made like a circle, monsieur. Eh? The round number, sir. Round, like this. Don't move. Uh, you people gone deaf? The man said, don't move. Hold it! Get up. And no whimpering. You will kindly keep your hands raised. Move. Get with it. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. I haven't got time right now. Move. Didn't you hear what I but said? But I'm the cashier. No, I'm the cashier. All right, let's get our hands up high. Much higher. <laughs> He's our captain! <laughs> you let one candle drop out with a hole in your head. Quiet. Captain, with pure gold. Hmm. Watch worthy of our general. Gold, 18 keys. He's nobody's general. And you ain't nobody's captain. <laughs> the chips have been cast, general. <laughs> the bank is busted. Rien ne va plus. <laughs> Hooked up with Honigan and his men. Strange. I thought those two were more intelligent. What do you mean? The advantage was all theirs. We didn't know their names. Didn't even have photographs of them. But now... Now they're hooked up with three well-known bandits whose faces and names appear in every town clear across the state. I wonder if they realize the mess they got themselves into. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, only this time, you'll count them over again, slowly, each bill separate. But, sir, you don't... you don't really mean that... Slowly and in front of me. Do you understand? Y yes, sir. <laughs> Leave him alone. I have faith in Smithy. But I don't. <laughs> I don't think your opinion is worth very much. Consider the matter closed. Like I can't.
By now, we established who's the, the boss here. I think so. So without any more diddle daddle, you'll get back on your saddle and get. For the next ten days, get yourselves lost. After that, come back here and we'll make an appointment for our next job. Okay. I'll be seeing you. That's it. Where are you going? They're heading north, so I suppose we'll be going south. Yeah, you did a fine, smart thing, Ben. Don't forget, we got an appointment. I don't like going to bed with my coat for a pillow. Oh, I think I settled their hash for a long time to come. Yeah. Poor Ben, he's just a turd. And if you keep socializing with a snake, you'll end up being a dead turd. You were afraid you were going to get hurt. <laughs> you going to explain maybe what your gripe is? I'll explain it. I'm busting my gut with two guys batting me. But you didn't give a damn, Charlie, because you were too afraid to help me. Well, I, I figured you could handle it alone. It was fun, wasn't it? You were beautiful. Cross-eyed man, he said to me, let it rain or let it pour, but I don't care if the sun won't shine. I've been here and I've been there I even been to Arkansas Where I found me a friend I call him my friend Let it rain, I said let it pour I don't care if the old man snore West of the Great Divide I'm going east to Santa Fe Grab me a ride, we're riding blind Going down the county line Let it rain or let it pour I can hear the people say Play your song, it won't take long Like a natural ragtime band Big Lake High, she can't get high She just sits and sings the blues What are you doing with my pistol, Charlie? Huh? You know, Ben, I can't say that I envy you with all your responsibilities. When you're boss, you gotta know all the rules. For example? Well, the first rule. If you top cheese, you better not go around without your gun on you. Thanks. Now, give me the gun. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Rule number two. If you're going to play boss, don't turn your back on the enemy. Smithy, give me that satchel. I always thought you were a friend. You ain't supposed to have friends. A real boss don't trust nobody. Especially when it comes to money. You're a coward. That's what you are. And you're a blundering idiot. I hope you learned your lesson, Big Wheel. Because from now on, you're going to have to do it all on your own. As for that coward called Charlie, you want to find him, go to Silvertown. Okay, Charlie, stop there! And one other thing, you got to make sure that nobody tampers with your equipment. That's part of the grind of being a boss. It's all part of the grind. Yeah! Goat herding, dung herder. Peace be What about this one? I just bought it. The Lord be with you. Um, could you change ten dollars? Right. Sakes. This way, please, ma'am. Certainly. Here you are, Padre. Peace, brother. Yeah. Ben, they're crawling all over the place. We'd have trouble getting into town, leave alone the bank. Yeah, we'll just have to lay low for a while, man. That's all we've been doing, boss. Look, we've still got 50000 from our last job. So what do we do, put it in the bank and live off the interest? But that's not such a bad idea. If we put those 50000 in the bank, huh, at the interest rate of... Oh, 3%. You see, we got a genius here in mathematics. You expect us to go along with that? No. Oh, we can pull off a job just the same. They expect us in the big cities, all the important towns. Now, if instead we go rob a little bitty bank in some goat herding town... With a little bitty safe containing the money of a goat herder. It's money, ain't it? Besides, there's no risk. If that idea is the best you can do, then count me out. What a bunch of nitwits. For federal deposits, they always choose a bank that's in a jerkwater town. We could hoist a half million dollars. Uh... Now, there's uh, a place that ought to be pretty good. Well, oh, Silvertown. Why would they pick Silvertown? Because it's a puking, nitpicking, and the most goat herding looking town in all of creation. Them federal financiers know what they're doing. They deposit their gold where nobody's likely to go look for it. Godforsaken hole where the desert rats run around like people where whoever's left is too tired, too scared, or just too plain dumb to leave. The silver load ran dry and the mine shut down, but the dregs stayed on in Silvertown. Yeah, just the dregs. <laughs> Sheriff, there are two strangers there. Well, who cares? They just pick their nose all the time. Go on, Bill. Welcome, folks. What will you be having? Rat poison. Unless you clean these up a bit. This worse than a pigsty. And that's all they do is peck their nose. <laughs> what did I tell you? Two clean glasses, sir. Bravo. Now, if you got a little whiskey and won't put a hole through your gut, I'll be much obliged. This is your first time in Silvertown, eh? Yeah. I don't suppose you could come back here a second time. Yeah, I was picking myself. This isn't exactly the Grand Hotel. No, not exactly. There's plenty of room to park your bones in, if you know what I mean. We we ain't high on comfort, but if you don't mind roughing it. I'm not in the mood. 
There's just too many weird mugs running around here. You see, I, uh, I don't carry a pistol. Did you hear what he said? He said, look, I don't carry no pistol. I don't care. You pick your nose let him pick his own. Now, it's, it's your turn. Yeah. If you're looking for a rifle or some shooting hands, I can sell them to you. Got an emporium across the street, next door to the bank. Next door to the bank? Silvertown Savers. Oh, ain't that nice. Uh, and at what time? Oh, the bank opens at 3 o'clock sharp. Well, I'll be doggone a musical watch. Huh? Amazing. It's pure gold, besides. An heirloom, man. Eh? It belonged to a buddy. Oh. God only knows where he is now. Well, what do I owe you? Half a dollar. Three percent? Yes, sir. <gasps> I'll keep the change. Hey, that Biddy, he's got a satchel full of dollars. Your now you ain't gonna make me think that you're above it all now. Oh, what's he gonna do? Pick his nose? Hey, you, you, you go. Have a dollar. No, he goes. Mm -mm. No. Get two dollars? It was just a blunt. <laughs> some are winners and some are losers. Ain't nothing in the world you can do about it. Hey, clown. Compliments of the house. $52,300. And you're certain, sir, that you want to deposit it here? Well, in this a bank? Oh, of course, sir, but we don't usually handle but deposits. But the, uh, your safe is secure. By all means, sir. It's a Henschel and Schuster, model 666, approved by the society... Uh, by the society... Ah. Of the I'll get your receipt. Well, with all these robberies, I'll feel better when... Uh... I mean, really, it's been From just... From this fun. moment on, sir, your money's under the protection of the Silvertown Savings and Loan uh -huh. Bank of California. With this receipt, sir, you'll be able to draw cash whenever or wherever you like. Even if you're in New York or San Francisco, anywhere as long as you're not going abroad. It's official looking. Yeah. Everything's in order. I'll put the money immediately... In my hands. <laughs> plan was perfect, huh, boys? Clever and careful. Except for one little variation. Ah! You're right, no! <laughs> no! One shot in that barrel. Yeah, shut up. Hey! El Dinaro! El Dinaro! Vamos! Forget him and get that satchel, you idiot! Sheriff, they're shooting. You gonna go outside, you... <gasps> 
Yes, sir. Just another hour. I'm my honorary sheriff and all that fudge and gobbledygook. My name is Assistant Sheriff of the County, with all this extra, etc., etc. Et et and how's your uniform? Oh, I don't expect never, so you don't go picking your nose. Go on. You gonna help? Yeah. But, but, but maybe you would send tele telegram out, out to the vigilantes. Go ahead. still out there. They're not going anywhere. I only wish, Ben, that I, I could have helped you. Never met me. It, it, it would have been better. No, no. I'd always been afraid until I, I met you guys. I'd have just grown a hole behind my cage. God, God, no, the people's money. At 3%, huh? Yeah. I'm glad that I met you. I'm glad that I... You know where that is? Silvertown? Ain't far, sir. Just north of here, about 30 miles. Ain't nothing but a ghost town. Yeah, right? we could get there in under two hours. Let's get them in together. We'll leave right away. Ready? Hey, Sheriff! Guess what? No. I was able to get a message through. The vigilantes will be here in two hours. <laughs> Yeah. 
from you, did I? Will you shut up? They telegraphed for help in two hours every sheriff in the state will be here. Well, you got your money back, you damn fool. So why the hell don't you get out of here? Because they murdered 3%. He was our friend. I suppose you couldn't give a damn. I don't need you, Charlie. So go and get the hell out of here once and for all. Uh, you gosh darn idiot. If I don't bust you on it's only because it'll make too much noise. Now go on, no. get yourself killed. I'd love to see the sawdust come flying out of that scatterbrained wooden head of yours. Charlie, you were right about those three and everything. I know. Only if you were with us, if you were with us, Charlie, we could have still made it. If I got a little honor each cause. It's because they kill 3% like they did. You understand? Huh, Charlie? Huh? Sure. Yeah, Charlie. You're always pretty good at figuring things out, so you'll understand. I'm the one that's got to handle this whole mess. Beat it, Charlie. Well, you still got the time, huh? Go on. Be a good guy. Look, I'm going to follow through on this. I don't care what it costs. Okay, Ben. So long, diddle daddle. <laughs> I'll come out a winner. I mean it. I've got it made. <laughs> Adios. I'm over here. No, not there. Over here. Over here. Charo. Not there, you pig. Turn around. <laughs> Let go! Ah! 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 Ah!
can. You filthy, bald headed monster. You hear me? What do you want? To inform you that in ten minutes, a horde of vigilantes will be riding in like a pack of beasts. And so? So I thought we ought to come to an agreement, huh, Baldy? We're the only ones left. You've got the horse and I've got the money. How about exchanging? I expected it, Ben. How's that? Because your pistol has no bullets in it. I'm waiting for an answer. You hear my answer, Baldy Bean? Let's go, Ben. You get a horse, I get the money. Sure look mean. Maybe we ought to chuck the weapons, huh? Let's get with it. My friend Charlie used to say you had the poison of a rattlesnake and the meanness of a boa constrictor. I used to say he ain't all that vile, Charlie. He's just vermin. A coward. One who might even plug you in the back. Huh? You wasn't wrong either. Right, Honigan? <laughs> Stupid enough to 
You cross the desert like you. Desert? You're exaggerating. It's just a little bit parched. We'll be out of here. hundred miles or so. We'll be out of here. And filthy rich. And dead. We got 50,000. Plus another 50 if you got the receipt we got from the bank. <laughs> Come on, goat herder. Time's a waste. If you did it and you did it, you'll fall on Smack your... Smack on your can, you lame brain idiot. What are you talking about? I, I just fit as a fiddle. Oh, shut up. I never fit as a fiddle, no. Charlie! 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 The stage! Come on, Charlie! And sings the blue. Oh, yeah. Been told. Let it rain, let it pour. Or I just don't care. I'm talking now. Let it rain or let it pour. Or I just don't care. Now. 